Hey guys, um, I just wanted to do a quick little talks about life. Um, I get a lot of calls or have a lot of sessions where people are like, this person seems to be a celebrity and they're reaching out to me and they're talking to me and, you know, trying to get to know me and trying to start conversation and all this kind of stuff. And um, so we're going to talk about catfishing a bit. Um, and here's my general rule of thumb. No matter who the person is, whoever, whoever doesn't, even, doesn't even matter, here's what I look for. If they reach out to me and they say hi, I immediately block them. Or if they say hello, block. If they say you're so beautiful, block. If they say um, yeah, any, anything short and insignificant and just, 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 it's like, it's like um, somebody trying to get your attention. And then if I, if, if somebody does kind of catch my eye by what they're saying, if they catch my attention slightly and I entertain them by actually answering them, then if they say anything at all, like th that isn't proper English, like what you mad about or <laughs> like, <laughs> Why, why you mad or you can trust me or, but I love you. And it's like way out of like, you don't even know them or I really love your personality or something like that. Test them. Don't just take their word for it. Test them and ask them, what is it about my personality you like? Which video did you watch in particular? That was something that you enjoyed and why? Like, you know, ask the kind of, and, and just like start to get, if you do believe that the person is who they say they are, um, then one of the things that you need to do is the first thing, as soon as possible, they need to prove that they are who they are without getting defensive. There's no reason to get defensive if you truly are who you are and you're refusing to show your face to that person or talk to them or let them hear your voice or whatever then they know they're coming to you incorrect already. So they should be willing to go the extra mile and prove that they are who they are. Ask them to post something that has like your name written on a little piece of paper in the background somewhere hidden to where people wouldn't even notice it. Or ask them to post a, a recent pi a picture of, you know, something that's really off the wall, like a starfish that they would never think to do you know, normally, and they have to go find a starfish and put, and put it in the background, or they have to mention a certain word or do a certain thing that, um, you know, you say, put, you know, put a story that where you're talking about this, or you have this item in your story, and you're just holding this item, where you're talking about this item, they should do that for you. They should also be willing to get on a video with you as soon as possible. So, and that's really, really important. Do not send them pictures, especially not sexy pictures. Do not do more than they're doing. Do, do not do anything more than they're doing. If they're sending you sexy pictures, you know, and they are, they've proven they are who they are. Sure. You guys can exchange, you know, that kind of thing. <laughs> um, or, you know, once you've established, you guys definitely are who each other is, then you guys can be freer with that sort of thing. But um, in terms of like, like a complete stranger that, that contacts you and you're just like, this couldn't be this person. Don't get all starstruck and act like they're special anyway. You know, just find out if they are truly who they are because you can, you can waste months and years. And here's the other thing. Okay, so one, hear their voice or get on video with them immediately as quickly as you can. Don't even waste your time and, be, and just make them prove it immediately right off the bat, first, first and foremost. That has to be the most important thing. Number two thing to keep in mind, well, speaking English. They need to speak normal English because you have Asians getting on there who, who can not necessarily, I mean, some of these are like official official sites that have been, that's proven that it's them. But some of them are kind of desperate for money and they allow people to speak on their behalf to try to scam people too. It's, it's really a weird thing that, can, that, can, that I've seen happen in some cases. Um, so that leads into the third thing. If they're asking for money, never, ever, ever, ever give anybody money unless you know who they are and you guys are darn well in a relationship, in a commitment, you know, 
And somebody who's married should not be speaking to you. And I would absolutely block. I don't care who they are. You know, if somebody's married, they need not be talking to you in any way, shape or form. Not one-on-one, not getting to know you, you know, building intimacy and that sort of thing. So prove, make them prove it. And if they don't prove it, don't have anything to do with it anymore. Or after a long period of time, if you guys go back and forth, you've developed feelings, you have somewhat of a relationship, you're sure that they are who they are. If they will not come to the forefront and actually have a conversation with you, like meeting you in person or talking to you on the phone or something like that, completely cut them off. Just completely cut. You're wasting your time. You don't know how they could be totally jerking you around in the background. They could be totally living a double life and they're just trying to get attention from you. They're trying to boost their self-esteem through getting attention from, from other women, which you're just being used and your heart is totally falling in love with this person. And they're going to destroy you because they're living this other life. They end up going out with somebody else, whatever. They're living like a facade, you know, that double life thing. So if you love yourself, you need to seriously protect yourself against anybody who will not reveal who they are, who will not prove to you who they are, and then who will not somehow, um, you know, you have, to, you have real celebrities who are also divine masculines, and that turns into a whole other thing. Like That can be a really difficult thing, but, and we can always sort this out together, but they, they should, you should at some point get some really good solid proof or evidence that they truly are who they say they are and, they, and that they do want to be with you. And some, there should be some type of what I call pinging, like you guys sending messages back and forth somehow that, that, that you, you can prove. You know for a fact this is who, that they, who they say they are, they are. If you can't establish that as quickly as possible, don't waste your time because you have better things to do than be, you know, um, chasing after some kind of phantom or, or just living some kind of fantasy life thinking somebody loves you or, or even is anything when they're living a total double life. I'm trying to think if there's any, if there's anything, some of you actually, it's pretty, pretty astonishing. Some of you have like the, I mean, I've heard some really, really amazing stories about some of you who haven't even met yet, but then that your secret codes and stuff are just like phenomenal, like incredible. If you've established that, then that's pretty awesome. Um, and you would know, you would know. I've talked to some of you. This does not pertain to you. Um, some of you have, have actually had like 5D connections, like speaking to each other telepathically. And you've had that type of connection. But again, don't waste too much time on that for too long if they're not doing something about it, you know, it's just, it's just all about like, keep you, keep your options open always keep your options open and, um, and don't waste your time. And I, even people like, Oh gosh. Um, all right. I think I might have to rate this one. I don't know. Uh, we'll see. I I'm going to try to do it without getting too vulgar. There was, there was a guy who um, I got to know online, very cute, totally sweet. Um, and I, I mean, we, we got to know each other over the course of like a month or two. And, and I, I just felt super close to him. We were texting all the time and he'd say good morning and good night. And how was your day? And he'd check in constantly. And I was finally like, why isn't he trying to get with me? Like, why isn't he trying to like, see, like have a talk with each other face to face? And I just kept pushing and pushing the issue, trying to like, be like, I got to find out if you're for real, you know, cause you never know if their picture is old or, you know, you, you just never, I've, you guys have been through the day. I used to online date for year for years. So you would not believe how people pretend to be something that they're not and everything. So I was really trying to drive it forward. I was like, if he's a really nice man and he's not like his pictures, I'd still consider it, but I need him to be honest with me kind of thing. So then we would video talk. And then he was really cool to talk to in video. And I was like, okay, this is encouraging. This is really neat. So even in video, he seemed really cool. And I was like, oh my gosh, I can't wait to meet this guy. He's really neat, right? The guy's from Bosnia. <laughs> so um, so we're, we're having this really cool thing. And then he finally agrees to, he finally agrees to like meet face to face. And we decide to actually go on a date. We're going to go out to dinner. 
This is the, this is like the, well, uh, uh, okay. I'm not even going to get into that. Okay. So we go out and the guy was so loud and obnoxious and vulgar and would shoot out like he was living in his mother's house <laughs> and he was <laughs> saying how he was, he could get women to do this and he could get women to do that. And he would have women coming and going outside of his mother's house. And he didn't care that there was screaming going on and there was other things going on and blah, blah, blah. And he went into detail and he was yelling it. And the waiter of this restaurant kind of, you know, kind of knew me. And he was shooting me looks like, are you serious right now? Like, do we need to do something to remove this guy? He was that obnoxious. And he wasn't even drunk or anything. He was just loud. And I, and I just said, could you please like, shh, you know? And he was like, what? Everybody, blah, blah, blah. Ha, 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 ha. You know, and I was like going, oh my gosh, I'm going to crawl under the table right now. Like, I cannot believe how obnoxious he is. He was not at all like the person that I'd been talking to all this time. And, and I was like, how, how, like, what? You know, then we went out and we were walking, you know, we were walking along in like an outdoor mall and he's like checking out everybody walking by, looking at everybody's butts and making comments and like just, I mean, Andrew Dice Clay. I went on a date with Andrew Dice Clay and he had acted like he was like, I don't know, some kind of Prince Charming before that. And I was so shocked. I didn't know what to do. And I was so embarrassed. And I was like, all this time and all the things that I've told him and all of the, like, like, I just want to hide. I just, I'm just like, it, it was, yeah. And that is a normal thing in the online dating world, you guys. So get to know them as fast as you can and move that forward as fast as you can. So you can see that they are for real. That's my recommendation. And I, I hope this helps. Never ever, ever give anyone money. Number one, if you ever want to see it, if you, if you, if you're fine with, if you got lots of money, you want to just delve it out to people, fine. Don't ever expect that money back. But if, if you allow yourself to be scammed by somebody who knows what to say and do and how to compliment you to get money out of you, then you're a fool. You're seriously a fool. And you're going to, years later, you're going to really regret doing that. You're going to be like, I could really use that $60,000 right now. I could be putting down a down payment on, on, on a house with my true love. So don't sell yourself short and don't settle for somebody who's saying all of the, all of the perfect words and everything when they're not even who they say they are. Establish it immediately. And if you've been honestly, like maybe this is your wake up call. If you've been talking to this person for a really long time and they still won't come forward or get on video or meet you or any of that, cut it out. Get the heck out of there. Get the heck out of there. That is needless pain you're putting yourself through, pain and suffering you don't deserve. You deserve to have somebody who's in your face talking to you on the phone or like doing something to try to nurture something along other than making you feel bad that you want to date other people because they're jealous. You know, they have no right to be jealous when they're living some kind of double life that you don't even know about. You don't even know the details of their life. And you've never seen the wrinkles on their face and the color of their eyes and the, and their, and the way that they express themselves. I mean, like I said, that one guy, he expressed himself so differently in text messages and even on phone calls and then also on videos than he did in person. You really got it. You, yeah, you, you got Yeah. <laughs> I hope this helps. And if we need to sort it out together, definitely like seek me out. Um, amysatori.com forward slash services. And I'll be happy to assist with that if, if you need it. And I will say it like it is. You know, we'll definitely say it like it is. And I have talked to people who are being fooled. And I've talked to people who are actually getting to know celebrities that have to be really incognito. So I know, I know the full gamut, but in all situations, those rules apply that I said. All right, got a reading to go to. Have yourselves a beautiful day. Hope this helps, like I said, and um, yeah, all right. Talk to you later. <laughs> Bye. If you like my videos, please like, subscribe, and share them with your friends. 
Also, feel free to join me at patreon.com forward slash Amy Satori, where I post monthly energy readings, pick a decks, and other goodies for members only, including discounts for readings and being entered to win a free reading at the end of the year. Memberships start as low as five fifty five a month. Sometimes I even put my free collective love readings on Patreon first before uploading them here to YouTube. You can check the description of my videos for the most up-to-date information.